service of CNC Worldwide. CNC podcasts are a service of CNC Worldwide and brought to you by the Greece Chamber of Commerce, providing more than 800 member companies with business solutions since 1984. The town of Arundiquit has given Medley Center developer Burson Properties until the end of business Thursday to respond to three code violation notices. Arundiquit Supervisor Adam Bello says the town's fire marshal took photos inside the near-abandoned mall showing water damage from broken pipes. He discovered there was no heat in the building during this winter's bouts of sub-zero weather, causing the pipes to burst. Bellow says the town issued three citations on Burson and owner Scott Conjol. He says they want the problems fixed and they want Conjol to go through them all with them and show town officials that the repairs have been made. The Rochester Teachers Association has thrown a lawsuit into the dispute over state-mandated teacher performance reviews. The union representing city school district teachers is suing the State Board of Regents and State Education Department. They say the reviews last year were unfair. The RTA says the state did not account for concentrations of student poverty in the big urban school districts when it set the standards. Teachers now get their performance reviews based on how students perform on the 4th and 8th grade standard tests. New York State United Teachers, which filed the suit for the RTA, says nearly 90% of city school students live in poverty. That pulls down student achievement. Rochester police called to check on someone's welfare found a man shot to death at an address on Grafton Street. The 29-year-old man was rushed to Strong Memorial Hospital and there pronounced dead of a gunshot wound to the torso. Police say no suspects in custody. The mid-afternoon incident remains under investigation. The enrollment deadline for Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, is coming up, and New York's Health Exchange says nearly 600,000 New Yorkers now have insurance through the program. NY State of Health says more than 70% of those who signed up did it through the exchange, and they had no health insurance before they signed up. The open enrollment period for Obamacare ends March 31st. By that date, people are supposed to have insurance coverage or risk paying a fine. Traffic on I-390 northbound is closing overnights this week as construction crews set steel for the new Kendrick Road ramp in Brighton. The State Transportation Department says the detour is nightly from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. The expressway closes between West Henrietta Road and Scottsville Road while the steel work is put in. As before, 390 northbound will first be cut to a single lane in that area at 7 p.m. and the full closing at 11, and the work depends on weather conditions. Police in Webster spent Monday investigating a large fight that broke out late Sunday night outside the Empire Lanes bowling alley on Empire Boulevard. The department says many people fled the scene before police got there, but responding officers found a person seriously injured from being clobbered with a bowling ball. He was taken to Strong Memorial Hospital. Three people were treated at the scene for knife wounds. Police say by interviewing witnesses, getting cell phone and surveillance footage, it appears the argument started between two individuals, turned into an assault with a knife. Others got involved. Finally, 20 to 40 people were duking it out in the parking lot. Police say no arrests have been made yet, but they are working on criminal charges as part of their investigation. A SUNY Brockport senior has been charged with torturing and injuring an animal after someone tweeted a snapshot of him holding a dog up to a beer keg and giving him beer from the tap. Brockport Police, Town of Sweden Animal Control, and the college at Brockport launched an investigation after that picture went viral. Brockport Police say they have ticketed 20-year-old Robert Yates of West Seneca. They say he's the one who took and posted the photo on Twitter. Police don't say who was holding the dog, but do say additional arrests are expected. They filed charges because their investigation showed the dog was held down and made to drink beer. The dog's owner wasn't home when this happened, and he was not aware of it. A Monroe County grand jury has indicted Jose Rosario of Rochester on second-degree murder charges for the shooting death of Jorge King Hernandez. King Hernandez was fatally shot while sitting in his car at a red light at the corner of Upper Falls Boulevard and Hudson Avenue in the city. The prosecuting attorney notes it was a particularly frightening type of violence. And longtime Rochester classical radio personality Mordecai Lipschutz has died following a lengthy illness. According to the WXXI Public Broadcasting website, Lipschutz died Sunday at age 64. 
He spent more than 30 years on air at WXXI-FM, Rochester's classical music station, and also hosted the area's longest-running live broadcast series, Live from Hochstein. Your next CNC podcast is whenever you click on one of our pages and catch one. We post updates around the day as necessary, and I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.